like I need to say this at the beginning of every single video in case someone is just joining in, okay? The roots are intentional, my friends. We're experimenting here. We're experimenting, okay? All right, so, and really, uh, some people have said, what is going on? What, did I miss something? So I feel the need to say that mm, this is a project, okay? Okay. All right, so I have a couple of things to share with you today. Uh, I went shopping, and then a, co well, a couple of things were sent to me. I went shopping, and I've seen a few things on TikTok and Instagram, always younger girls. So I thought I would get a few of them and try them out, and then maybe in a review video or just a favorites video if they were a hit or a miss, you know. All right, so the first thing is, uh, and some of these things, I was under that rock that I often talk about. Uh, I mean, I didn't even know they existed. Um, but anyway, um, I guess it's letting you know that uh, even though I am a makeup lover and a skincare lover, I guess I'm at a point in my life where I know that everything I don't need everything for one. And I also know that most of it's not going to work for my skin anymore anyway. So, but anyway, I did want to try this because I am always looking for something to blur my pores and maybe even some fine lines or discoloration, whatever. So this is Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. And I think it is, I want to say Patrick Starr. I don't see his name on here though, but that's what I wanted to say. Anyway, I decided to give this a try and I have used it. And so far I actually have it on underneath today. So let me just take a look. It does a really good job at camouflaging my pores. Now, yeah, it really does. It does a really nice job. I'm gonna continue to use this and I'll, you know, let you know on that. Maybe I'll use it in a tutorial. Maybe I already have, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, this I saw on, I want to say Instagram. I see a lot of people talking about this from Kosas. I think that's how you say it, Kosas. It is a concealer. It's uh, 3W, and I have this on today, and it is awful. It is terrible. It is thick. It is cakey. It is... Um, Really, every wrinkle underneath my eye is showing. It is just horrible. I'll even come in closer for you to see. It really is not a good fit for me. I should have known it when I put it on because look how thick it is. It's just way too thick. And I used a very small amount of it. I will say I used it also in the temple area. Now, it looks okay in the temple area because I don't have a lot of wrinkles here. But I have wrinkles here, and it is really, it is not doing well. I think I'll try to take a picture of this and insert it. So if you are like me with, you know, wrinkles underneath your eyes, you're more dry, a mature woman, um, this may not work for you, my friends. So this was a complete waste of money for me, okay? This uh, is from Revolution. It's the Eye Brightening Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. But I saw a few people using this as a highlighter, like it has a pretty glow to it, so I thought I would give it a try. Some even use it as a, a bronzer. They get darker colors and use them as bronzers. So I don't know what the formula is like. I haven't even opened these up, so I'm gonna give those a try. They are comparing this to something in the Charlotte Tilbury line. So we'll see. Uh, Makeup Forever uh, HD Skin. I have always liked well, I used to love their HD foundation. And then I stopped using, I think it was in the stick. And um, anyway, so I'm going to give this a try. Now I wanted a different color, but they were completely sold out. So I got the next one that's okay for me. It's the 2N26 or Y315. So we're gonna see how this works. Maybe I'll do a review. Let me know if you'd like to see that in a review. And then I will go ahead and do that. I also purchased the Skin Quench Pri Hydrating Primer from Milani. I see a lot of people that really like this for a hydrating, and I haven't used it yet, so we'll have to see. It's still sealed. And uh, I do like a lot of hydration underneath when I'm using a cream product especially. So I uh, got that. Now, I have talked about London Town Lacquer nail polishes before. It's called La Cour, and they have their new collection, and I'm going to talk about my nails in a minute, but um, I go to the salon and have pedicures now. I just, I really enjoy going and having them done. 
I never did. I always did them myself. It gets a little harder to do with age and arthritis. So I have been going for months now and having my toes done, but I bring my own polish for my feet because um, I just like the formulation of the London Town lacquers. So they have a new collection, it's their Bohemian. And on my toes, I do, I'm a little bit more adventurous than on my fingers. My, my niece, my one niece always tells me, you wear grandma colors. And I always have. <laughs> So whatever that, although I do love red nail polish, but I pretty much like nude and natural because if you chip it, uh, it doesn't show up as much. But anyway, um, on my toes, that's a different story. So I just thought I would share these with you. And the first from the Bohemian Fantasy Collection is this one here. And this one is Under the Stars. It's a beautiful blue. And I did go ahead and put it on a nail a plate for you. But that is the color, and it is cream, and that's what it would look like on the nail. On the toes, this is beautiful, my friends. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then the next one is more of a teal color, and this one is called Magpie. These are nine free. They have no chemicals. They are safe for pregnant women. They, they are just super clean nail polish, but they stay on. They really do. They have a top and a base coat to be used with them but really, really nice. So this is Magpie, and this is what it looks like on the nail. Beautiful on the toes, beautiful, I'm telling you, it is. And I got a little crazy here and just started playing around, you know, mix matching, so just ignore that. And then next up we have, this one here is the Rose Tinted Glasses. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink, gorgeous. Now this one would be beautiful on the nails. And I think that one is this, which one is this one? That's this one. Okay, so that is the pink. So, so pretty. All right, and then next is the other pink, and this one is called Pressed Petals. Just a really nice pink, and that is this one. Very pretty. And the next one is yellow, and I see a ton of women wearing yellow on their toenails. And this is called Daisy Chain. And it is a very, very true bright yellow. And this is what it looks like on the nail. So there they are, again, all of them together. And with the pinks being beside each other, you can see that they actually are different. But they're just really, really nice nail polishes. Again, they have no chemicals in them, and they really do stay on. I would suggest you get the top coat and the base coat, but they really are beautiful. And I, I think I might, there might be a code for these. I think a long, long, long time ago, I had asked the company if they had a, t a code that they could share, and they did, but I don't know. If there is one, it will be below, okay? All right. Next up are two new products from Bay Harbor Beauty. And the first one is the Satin Lip Mask. This is very, very nice. You just put a nice layer of this all over your lips. It's packed with ceramides and all kinds of really good ingredients. And it just really helps to hydrate and moisturize the lips. And this is the texture of it. Very balmy. Has a real, oops, I got that right on my nose. Has a real, oh, now I got everything on my nose here. Feels really nice on the lips. You can either use it as a treatment mask or you can sleep with it overnight. It's really, really nice. It smells a little bit like a little menth and pe peppermint, but it doesn't, it's, it's not one of those that bites your lips. You know what I mean? Where, where you're like, ooh, my lips feel like they're on fire. There's no cinnamon or anything like that and they're burning. And then she has a nice lip balm that you can just throw in your purse and go. And it really is nice. It's just a nice sheer lip balm. Nice check texture to it. Gives the lips a nice sheen that to it. That can be found on bayharborbeauty.com. Next, I got these beautiful lip glosses that I'm going to try with you uh, from Christian Audette. Christian Audette makes a beautiful lipstick. She's collaborated with many YouTubers. And uh, many of you are very familiar with it because of the YouTubers. And... Um, 
it's really a beautiful formula. It's like wearing cashmere on the lips. Now I'm more of a satin finish girl versus a matte, but she, her formula is, it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful lip. And she is branching out into lip glosses. I know she has one other gloss. I think I have it here. It's a clear one from the Goody collection. And uh, it's very, very nice, but she's come out with some colors. So we are going to go ahead and give them a try. All right, so I've wiped most of the lip up. I've left a little bit of lip liner just to give it some def definition. So they let's come in this box. It's really beautiful. Black box with gold lettering. Really pretty. And the tube looks like this. It's square, fr almost frosted tube, suede it looks like. And it has a doe foot. Okay, so we are going to go in and try these on. So the first one is Mimi. And it's a soft pink it looks like. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah. It's a soft pink, beautiful satin finish. Smells like vanilla. Mm. And that is the gloss. Let's put a little bit more on. So that is Mimi. They feel good. They're not sticky. They're not goopy. Very nice, they have nice slip, but they're not super wet. Very nice. They feel very good on the lips. All right, let's take that one off and we'll put the next one on. The next one up is looks like this in the tube. So here was Mimi, and there is Jardin de Paris. All right, so we are going to go ahead and try this. The doe foot has a nice fit to the lip. This is a little more beige, I think, than the other one. No sparkle. You can wear these alone or you can top. do lip liner all over your lip and then top it off with a gloss. That's what I do a lot of the times. Okay, so that one is Jardin, Jardin de Paris, okay? Very pretty. The next one is Coquette, and I'm gonna hold it up to the others so you can see the difference. This is Coquette, this is the one we're going in with. <clears throat> More color to this one. Definitely goes into the peach family. It's like a pretty, pretty peachy tan. So there's that. They feel nice on the lips. All right, then we have one more to the collection. Age Dior. Let me hold them up against each other so you can see. So here are the other three that I already put on. And this is Age Dior and it looks like it might have a satin finish to it. We shall see. Definitely more of a, let's see, more of a gold undertone. Remember this is with no liner. Let me do it so you can see. Try to build it up. Okay, so what I'll do now is put a swatch of them on my hand for you to see. So this one here is the Age Dior. Okay, so that is the Age Dior. Okay. All right, the next one I'm going to put on is Coquette. This is very pretty. Coquette. Okay, and then, I don't know if these will show up because they're very fair. This one here is Mimi. This will show up. This one definitely has more pink to it. So, there is the pink up on above the coquette. Right there. 
And then the last one is Jardin de Paris. This one is definitely the lightest of them all on the top there. Very, very pretty. They feel very nice on the lips. Okay, so I took a picture. I'll insert as well the picture right here. Very, very nice. Very okay, so they are very, very comfortable on the lips. So thank you to Christian Audette for sharing your new lip glosses. That It says uh, Lip Glow Gloss, the brightest, wettest shine in the universe. Now, they do use the word wettest, but they're not sloppy wet. Wet can scare people off because if you have lip lines like me and it's real wet, you're like, ooh, it's really a pretty gloss. Especially if you wear a gloss on your own and the sheerness of the color, it's not really going to make a difference. And my friends, so that is it for today's video. Just a couple of things to share with you. Don't forget, if there are any codes, I will always put them below next to the link for you because I'm not sure about the Lacour, the London town. So I will see if that code is still active because these are really nice nail polishes. They are really nice. And I must also say that the Christian Audette lip glosses are vegan. And I know that is very important to many. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a vegan gloss, Christian Audettes are vegan. All right, friends, I'm going to let you get out of here. If you haven't already subscribed, you know, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So hit that subscribe button right next to it. It's a bell that notifies you of all the videos that I'm putting up until, until the next time you go out in the world and love your age. I love you all. Bisous. Before I leave, I just wanted to touch base on my nails. Um, many people are asking me about my nails. I actually was having a very, very tough time with my nails. I would get them to grow. They would chip. The ridges are awful in them. They would peel and I'd have to cut them off again, or they would crack down because they were just so horrible. So I started taking the Fito, um, hair, nail and skin vitamins, and they really did help my nails. I took them a full bottle of them. And every time I would go for a pedicure, the girl would say to me, why don't you get dip nails? She's, I'm the type, I just did my own manicures and pedicures all the time. So she would tell me the dip nail is, would make a difference. And I, I don't want to put those tips on and I don't want all that acrylic over it. You know, it drives me nuts. I said, I, I like to feel my nails when I'm itching. I, I can't get a good scratch with acrylic nails because I had them years and years and years, probably 35, 40 years ago, I had acrylics. They look beautiful, but they just, they're an annoyance to me more than anything. I like my real nails. So um, finally she convinced me and I said, because they had grown, but one had broken, the thumb had broken. And she said, why don't you let me put the dip on? And then I'll just put a tip just on the thumb. And I thought, okay, so the tip, there's not a tip anymore. These are my own nails. There are no tips, nothing, but it's dip. It's from OPI and she puts a, a nail polish on or a clear po uh, coat of something on. And then she dips you in powder and she does that three times. And then she just files them. I shape them. I don't like the way they shape them, but, um, you know, then I come home and I just shape them and it has allowed my nails to grow. So, um, that's what I did. I put dip on and they just are comfortable to me. I'm hoping that I don't get sick of them like I did before, because I really do like my nails having a little bit of length. And the ridges with menopause are just unbelievable. And I will tell you, I tried everything. I tried everything. Sleeping with gloves and Vaseline to soften the skin. Uh, you know, all the, all the oils they tell you to do. Uh, you know, the manicures the way they tell you to do. Uh, certain formulas that they tell you to use. I did it all. Every su supplement under the sun did it all. And it really did not help. So... They're dip, my friends, because a lot of people say what color nail polish you're wearing, and it's a dip powder. Okay? Okay.